Happy Labor Day and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kiara Powell. Construction delays held off the first day of school for Ector County ISD high school students, but that day is finally here. Tomorrow will be the first day of school for Permian and Odessa High. However, before students walk into their classrooms, they may notice quite a few differences. CBS 7's Lauren Landman joins us live outside the Permian to break down some of the changes. Lauren. That's right, all high school age students will be having to wake up just a little bit earlier than what they're used to this year and everyone will be seeing some new and younger faces on the high school campus. That's because times have changed due to construction updates and ninth graders have been added to the high school roster. Those are just a couple of the changes you'll be seeing this year. New buildings, new rules, and new students is something all high school students and parents will face this school year. Many high school students spent the last two weeks relaxing and soaking in that extra summer time because the new buildings weren't ready. What'd you do for your extra two weeks? Skate. Ninth grade student Angel Moreno will be walking through the OHS doors as a student for the first time on Tuesday as high school is now moved to a ninth through 12th grade format. I'm going to have some fun this year. Other than starting high school, there are some big changes coming his and every other student's way as he prepares to put on a backpack and put up the skateboard. What are some of the changes that you know happening this year? Time. That's the biggest change students are talking about. Because of the delayed start to school, classes will begin 10 minutes earlier, starting at 840 and end 15 minutes later at 425. We can't really do anything about it. I mean, the school wasn't done in time. So, I mean, just get it over with while we can. And to make sure you arrive on time, OHS students need to focus on new traffic signs. Old ways of driving up to the school steps are no more. One-way streets now border the main entrance with specific designated road entries and exits, a change many will definitely have to get used to. If you'd like to take a closer look at the OHS drop off map, all you have to do is go to our Facebook page or our website, CBS7.com. We have posted that there for your convenience. That, along with all of these other changes that you're expected to see. And again, just a reminder school will be starting for high schools a little bit earlier than it used to at 8 40 in the morning. So make sure you set your alarm clocks so you make it here on time. For now, reporting live in Odessa, I'm Lauren Landman, CBS7 News.